All right. Um, <clears throat> what do you feel your consultations or the boot camp help you with the most? Um, like dealing with me, like deal, dealing with Kelvin. Mm -hmm. You know, like I want to say, I was such a, a slave to my emotions, like you know, and I thought that that was just it, that I was just going to be flying off the handle for the rest of my life. It was like a personality trait of mine. I was con content, not in practice but content just saying oh this is how i am this this is who i am because i've experienced xyz trauma that i am going to justify being a piece of shit for the rest of my life but also not actually acknowledging that i am indeed a piece of shit <laughs> uh, trying to play both sides of the fence oh yeah yeah looking for the win on both sides i was like i don't want to take no l's l's are not for me <laughs> only the l's that i give myself Right, that are, that, are, that are slightly wins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm, cool. And you were um, you were in the boot camp too. How was the boot camp for you? Right. So the boot camp, I want to say, when I was when I was doing the shit on my own, one of the one of the things that was so difficult for me, um, even when I was listening back to my causes, I was still just perceiving it physically like I, I wasn't considering uh the larger aspect of self it was it was more like glorified therapy for me I was I was just like okay um you just have to take responsibility for yourself and your own feelings and and the world sucks it was it was more like nihilism it wasn't there was no spiritual component to it I was just um trying to kill the feelings which i understand wasn't even a part of the, the discussions that we had <laughs> but that was that was how i was interpreting what you were saying i was like just mm -hmm. get rid of the feelings um this is a place to suffer and then you're gonna die and that's it but the the um boot camp gave me more of a context of what the what the other parts uh the, what what things are beyond the physical and how to add context to it and how to actually perceive it other than just being able to have conversations with people who know less than you mm, 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 mm. And, and it also made me aware of when i do that like when you know when i'm doing it for the bitches when i'm like yes have you heard of <laughs> you know like spiritual you know like like i you know i found myself after that you know because i couldn't understand it i'm just giving people shit for not knowing what i know Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and not actually doing the work to understand it so the boot camp actually helped me like give me a foundation to actually do the work then i started shutting the fuck up because i realized how much i didn't know mm -hmm. and i think the console that i had oh we haven't gotten there yet but no you can continue i'm listening you good i'll say yeah the console that we just had gave me um because i had the the first console where i actually got to see myself as a mess then I got context to the metaphysical, and then now when I did the the second console, it was it was uh, okay. You know you're a mess. You you can't be so what you know. It's not like oh woe is me. I'm a mess, or I'm more of a mess than you all. You know, like, <laughs> I'm the biggest mess. And I'm just like I'm just another nigga out here. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. not special at all. Mess. Which that that upset me. Like took away my feelings as being special. <laughs> being exceptional i mean i'm exceptional to myself but also not i'm just i just like that feeling <laughs> i love it they're able to kill a little bit of the uh the illusion of joy to being special <laughs> yeah 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 uh, or the taking out the third party you know like when when people believe you're special Mm, mm. You, know, you know but like being special for you mm -hmm. just because you have just like I just want to do that that's you know Kelvin likes that shit and I'm gonna let him have that as opposed mm. to like looking like seeking validation you know like oh I want people to think I'm special or I'm not special if people don't say it mm -hmm. or we're doing things to try and look special and, and not being honest with yourself about that's what you're doing yeah yeah, yeah. hell yeah fucking yeah Oh, 